Hello, everyone. It's Bobo the Vulture. I'm the Serious JG. And this is Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, we're going to go into hanging mode. We're going to hang like Chad. We're going to be like uh, Conan. We're going to have huge balls. And we'll be like, you know, hanging them out in front of our pants and stuff. It'll be awesome. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering if the time for me to play might be coming. But no, this is quite doable. And that's actually one of the weird things in this game is that you can do pull-ups and increase your grip gauge by, like, you know, practicing. Basically. But this is... Yeah, thank you. That dude really needed to turn around. Now, of course, I need to crawl over this because this will make a noise, won't it? Uh, maybe, but I think he will see you even if he's crawling. He might be crawling when he turns around, so... Yeah, no, I don't want to, like, hang out there. No. Right. Okay, good good job. Yeah, I managed to avoid being discovered. You managed to avoid dying. Transformer room. Yeah. Office well, I mean, Prime's in here, dude. <laughs> well, I mean, this series has been all about giant robots. You can't be that mm -hmm. surprised. I'm not that even a little surprised. I suppose I could call Rose and see if she'd like to say... If, see if she wants to talk to you about your relationship. Well, yeah, that too. Jack, is that you? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was with my other boyfriend. <laughs> I like how your rose sounded vaguely like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> That's a <laughs> little <laughs> horror and talk. I'm going to be more Jack, close. when you get home, let's have a homecoming party. Just what? the two of us. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. I'll make dinner. How cute. Oh, well, what's wrong? Not well, that sounds good, but how about we eat out at that one restaurant instead? <laughs> Finally, she had you know, The place that we went to recently with the amazing lobster. The I one really that like crawls that out and attacks you? Well... Yeah, I, I guess that's there okay, too. Huh? Uh, nothing. I, I just love lobster. Yeah, can't wait. Woohoo! Uh, well, then I'll make a reservation. Promise Over here. <laughs> He's, He's real subtle with the comedy in this scene, right? Yeah. Oh, in the yeah. Transformer room, Jack. Drunk. Yeah, I should talk to... Okay, I'll talk to Jack about... Or talk to <laughs> Snake. <laughs> Colonel Jack about the Transformer room. <laughs> like, the president should be somewhere in Strut B, where you are now. His life is in danger. Hurry. Jack is just, he's crawling, he's wandering around through this uh, this stealth mission, just chattering away with the colonel the whole time. Yes. <laughs> like, oh, I don't want anybody to see me anyway. What, what's going on the transform? Ooh, blood. I presume. Gore, you know. It's a lot of ketchup. It's broken bottles of ketchup. What snake was well apparently find full lips. Extra nasty when he came through here. This is more like cyborg ninja stuff. Mm. The president's been kidnapped by cyborg ninjas? SEAL Team Ten will take care of it, don't worry. I have every confidence SEAL Team Ten's gonna pull this off. This game was made long before nine eleven, folks, so um Not that long before nine eleven. Okay, it was, it was before nine eleven. So SEAL teams were not a sacrosanct. Well, I mean, they Whoa. still had... SEAL teams known for their panicking. <laughs> Although I guess under these circumstances it's fair. How you doing, buddy? Be nice if we could take their weapons. We can. What's this shit? Check out my chest. And now you stop firing. He's got one of those bullet deflecting knives. So it would seem. Also, he spins fast enough that full auto fire. He's spinning once for each bullet. It's a lot of wasted food, isn't it? What do you mean? I mean, look at the dude. 
I mean, he looks like he's supposed to be some kind of vampire. I might be wrong. Yes, it might be absolutely true. no connection whatsoever between this guy and no, the vampires. No, I, I guess I guess I can see that. I'm probably just way off base here. I don't know. Oh, sorry, I'll get out of your way, sir. Area B. Is that flashing light thing? That'll be something I need to work Maybe uh, you'll get an auxiliary call right before we explode, and that'll be my turn. <laughs> yes. You don't get to take their weapons. I would think you'd get to take their weapons. Or one of their weapons. Or take all of them and then <sighs> use your repair skill to combine them. Ding, ding, ding. Hey, what are you doing, do Colonel? What's with this guy? Can you tell me anything about this guy, Colonel? Hey, uh, Colonel, I'm watching this guy. Oh, he loves giving the hickeys. Yeah. It's a very private moment, buddy. Could you uh, give us a little privacy here? What are you? Oh, by the way, good job on your sneaking mission. <laughs> well, so much for not getting spotted. <clears throat> today. I cut myself because I feel like I'm not a good girl. Or rather, six. Vamp. Okay, well. Thank you. Love you like tramp, like a video vamp. Devilish poker pio, man. <laughs> Riding. <laughs> Wake up. Riding. Get down! Do -do 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 -do. He decided to not just magically deflect the bullets of this particular guy. He had kind of a cool voice. Yeah, I like that voice. Where have I heard that? Where is he? See, this is the voice that I would not recast. Hmm. Showing an interest in using weapons. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Oh, good. Can't do it. Mm, strange smell. You pee yourself after eating asparagus? Taco velvet? You smell like... Choco velvet. Shoot him! What are you waiting for? No good. Can't do it! <laughs> I'm incapable! <laughs> No, it's really boring, but wait till I tell in you. The unit with the president. Be right there. I could kill both of these guys now, but that won't. I haven't killed anyone yet, you know, but uh, it's the first time for everything. Wait, what? This guy? My name is... Yes. My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior My name Gray. is Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> Iroquois Pliskin. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> Credits. Are you a Navy SEAL? Ooh. How did you get Are you some kind of crazy conspiracy theory nut, there. governor of Minnesota? <sighs> Wait a second. He's got oil bugs. How could he have come I in on the chopper? Oh, wow. Have you seen That's me? It. Are you Foxhound? They love showing That's off right. Foxhound junk. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? Why are you allowed to tell me about Foxhound? <laughs> Why aren't you told not to talk about it? Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first. I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like Virtual that. Boy. Sneaking missions 60. Weapons 80. 
Advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. <laughs> yeah, see how realistic these the big crystal the structures are that I'm fighting? Great. As you? <laughs> far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year, a few soldiers die in field exercises. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? I don't know if you realize this, uh, JG, but you and I are the ultimate soldiers. Apparently. Uh... Just hand it over to this guy, sure. So you're saying what was with the, like, training is herds of solid control? snakes? I don't remember that from before. Right, what's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. Except no, for this Iroquois Plissken guy. The kid's wired with nanomachines. Nanomachines? <laughs> I roll. <laughs> oh, God. Are you talking to the colonel? Tell him his daughter's a what doof. What about the president? Totally broke up with our man with Otacon now. <laughs> Look, I'm hanging with now, baby. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Mysterious Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Mysterious Johnny what? Guitar Pliskin. This is a top Mysterious. secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. <laughs> That's a headbutt on it. Too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What's up? Take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. Isn't he pretty awesome? <laughs> God, great. <laughs> what? He was in the bondage. A yeah. Navy captain. With a handcuff. He was carrying a briefcase. You all right? Give me a few minutes. Don't have any rations. Lost a few more pints than I thought. What was that man just now? Uh, as a Navy <laughs> captain. Sucking freak. That was Vamp. Let's have a Vamp flashback. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. I the love the way he VR moves. The way he sings what off key. Is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead, Dead Cell. Cell. Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. Oh, the name was originally okay. intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. This is like virtual reality, right? VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the Wait, unit began to unravel. Batman, Fortune, Vamp, and George Sears. Jorge Seal. Jorge Seal. Began to go after you. Oh, Gorge Sears. We estimate that no fewer than a hundred people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. <laughs> what about their leader? He I guess there's only three left, snake. so maybe Jorge so Seal doesn't count. Years ago. Or Gorge. I'm gonna gorge on Sears. Big shell necessary in the first Quality place. merchandise. Right. And he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. Sometimes there's more You're truth than legend in legend and history, and, and there's more one? salt in ham no, than in turkey. No, he's in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. By the colonel's daughter. Ask him dead. about it. And buried. What about the other soldiers? What about all the uh, seagull poop? Too. Psycho soldiers. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. Mercenary man. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. Because there's like three of them. <laughs> you weren't briefed on any of this? Seriously. You came in alone to boot? <laughs> you got like, your what? girlfriend saving your data for you? What kind of amateur are you? What are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't care. You want some of my ass cigarettes? Keep it anyway. May come in handy. I refuse. You never know when you'll get sent to prison. And uh, I refuse to have anyone in one of my games too. about cigarettes. Pussy. Take this pussy. <laughs> See, now there's a whole bunch of other machine guns. You could grab one of the other ones. Aren't you going to answer him? 
Uh, I'm on break. The BC connecting bridge. <laughs> It'll take you and the prehistoric past. <laughs> I need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. Remember my frequency. It's 141.80. 141.80. Got it. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about Dead Cell, contact me. It's You're using nano blanket. communication, right? Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. <laughs> Don't need to. I'm also using. I mean, um, okay, good. I can patch into your frequency. Hey, what's Please. your name? Raiden. I am Raiden. Strange code name. <laughs> Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday. Well, I mean, you could ask. I'll tell you. One I four, mean, I might like eight. to save. <laughs> one four one point eight zero. I think you might actually have to put his in manually. I'm pretty sure you don't have to use Pliskin. Yeah. Could be wrong. <laughs> ah, see. Oh my gosh. Yeah. One four one point eight zero. Come on, Bobo. What? Uh, what are you gonna quit after the main screen now? <laughs> oh, it's too far. Oh my god. I'm right here. <laughs> He's asleep. How did he Boom. answer the call? <laughs> of nature. Now you can aim a gun at him, and uh, it. it Results in goofiness. Yes. Also, a nerd. <laughs> Whew, you really don't like nerds, do you? Got that layout now for the room. Probably. Back to total screen. Hey. Stay awake. Monster, stay awake. Oh, hey, he is marked as an enemy. And there's machine guns around that you can't take. Yeah, thanks. I'm teabagging a dead American soldier. <laughs> this is for us, I do have a good thing to do. He's a bad person. Anyway. Alright. Maybe I want to save. <laughs> Jack, would you like to save before Snake kills you? <laughs> Who? I mean, <laughs> you're a coy. <laughs> what can I do for you, Jack? Well, after that lobster place, I was thinking you could put on a lobster costume and uh, I could uh, fertilize your eggs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brian's a pretty weird guy. <laughs> Hang in there. Or don't. Use the hanging mode. I wasn't gonna suggest you shoot him because that does then. Kid, they're actually so there is actually okay now there's. Well, you've wasted ammo and a little bit of life, but yes, that's. Yeah. You could also shoot the, uh, the guy with the handcuffs there. <laughs> Being stupid. My hand, God. Kind of weird that they didn't show his hand being cut off. That's typically how you do it in these games. I wonder what happens if you crash into the stairs like an idiot in front of him if he makes fun of you. Yeah, I see that the the M9 you get from Strut F, which is unfortunate that we don't have that because. And I could you backtrack could around and... Well, he's already asleep, though, so it wouldn't... Yeah, you could. I mean, just for purposes of not killing anybody, because Jack's only been in virtual reality training. It's true. At this point, you actually haven't killed anybody. Well, I don't... Also, I wasn't paying attention when the video started. I don't know if you want to end the video. I will want to end the video here pretty soon. Where am I but no, going back for that would be good. You've got the USB, which is very useful. 
I'm a little annoyed that we've lost that tiny bit of health, but you'll probably come across. Yeah, just go ahead and take a ration of that now. Uh, oh, oh, never mind. You're not I a max. Mean, you're not a max ration. Yeah. Forget it. But uh, well. the SOCOM, the SOCOM. Hey, Konami, guys, what do you know? SOCOM will actually make it significantly easier to get the um, the M9 because getting past that cipher robot without it is kind of a pain. Oh, am I walking the wrong direction, though? No, you're not. You're actually progressing forward with the story. Whoops. Wouldn't want to do that. Well, I mean, this is a range in a circle. You'll get back to strut F even if you don't backtrack to it. Yeah, that's true. What's going on, you guys? Hey, guys. You guys are friends with Iroquois? He's a cool dude. We're buddies now. That's really bad aim. Although <laughs> they've managed to kill that guy. Okay. Yeah. What the hell is that? You mean she can dodge? This is not dodging. Put me out of without my actually way. moving. Oh, Snape. The new clothing line. This is impossible. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they call Fortune? Bam and Fortune. Bam. Oh, Bam and Fortune. Bam and Fortune. I lug this dude around. The Bulletproof chick just can't be bothered. <laughs> Birdman load. Queen. Come get some. Look who's oh. talking, buddy. <laughs> Don't let them take the president. We're bad enough um, dudes I to rescue I think they already him. just did, but we're, we're bad enough dudes to rescue him, aren't we? Hey, guys. <laughs> you see me over here. <laughs> remember that moment, folks. Remember that dud grenade later in the game. I'm gonna try to remember myself to come back to that later. <laughs> maybe we'll maybe it'll be easy to remember if we continue. <laughs> if we continue to say. To be a fan of the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> Oof. Is there anyone here that can give me happiness? Listen, lady, just because you and your boyfriend didn't get along. Oh, he was wow. a dude! <laughs> that's. That's something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it kinda is. There's gotta be a lot of tension on that strap. Well, the gun! It's a giant heavy gun yeah, that, yeah. that she's carrying on her shoulder strap. That's mm -hmm. ridiculous. That's all I'm. But. I was agreeing with you. I didn't think that your comment was a <laughs> duh. <laughs> okay, that's, that's duh. good then. That's <laughs> a pretty big strapped uh, gun that she's got there. Yes. She, she's like, um... What? Uh, what? Why? Delicious. I'm so sorry, my beauties. Barker's beauties. I'll see you again someday. When we're all in hell! Why, she's killed a lot of them, didn't she? Apparently. Kenny G, the Metal Gear Warrior. <laughs> I was about to suggest we end the video, but nope, Kodak calls. <laughs> we, we visited, what, like three screens in the big shell at this Colonel, point, maybe four? SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo you choppers? You I see you. Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier, too. Oh, fuck me. What is this? What? Calm down. Get it just real. means they anticipated the attack. And they have access to a <laughs> Harrier! Since the you can't buy those fight, at Target. Yeah. Went off without a hit. Exactly. At least I've tried. <laughs> we know their defensive <laughs> capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission far. is in your hands now. Do you understand? But... There's no time for questions. Exactly. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. Why don't you, you mean the hostage? Well, you were talking for the yeah. failed assault. Yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. Why don't you if that do toxic it? spell does take place, <laughs> it it'll really does. Not only the well, I've heard it go rogue. Coastline for generations. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I hate the coastline going on. Objectives. The priority is now on removing those C4s of the terrorists wired over the big shell. Mm. The president can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. <laughs> I'm just some dumbass whose girlfriend is inexplicably involved in the mission. I mean, none of this makes sense. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Oh, there we go. Is this according to simulation too? What are you talking about? Get to yeah, Strut C and actually, find that's him. a good question by the colonel. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make Do you quick. How's Meryl? like me? Dead cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire too. It's it's like it's like being in a nightmare. You can't wake up. Oh, it's the FG. Yes. Out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Right. This is real. Definitely. And that's why you won't wake up. But Get nothing real. seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. This is <laughs> I've made up my mind. I'm gonna keep, keep my baby till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. All right, Are kids. Can it? Yeah, right. oh, I just talked over him, but he basically had the same thought. You know what? It's time to call Rose again. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think we need to talk to Rose more. I don't think she played a big enough part in that scene. No, I think you're absolutely right. Oh, we do not talk to Pliskin more too. We should at some point. We might. We might save Jack, that for next time. Do you time. need to save? Do I need to save? I need to save, Jack. Oh my god. I'm suddenly really missing man. Rose is not nearly as bad to me as Raiden, but together they're awful. <laughs> yeah. See ya. All the had not spent. Uh, I mean, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> the wisdom of Rose. <laughs> the genius and wisdom of Jushu. <laughs> well, all right, folks. Um, that was another exciting chapter in uh, the. Uh, Never ending story of well, I mean, so we that met, actually we met Vamp and Fortune. Although I can't imagine we'll be seeing either of them again. <laughs> well, we did meet Iroquois Pliskin as well. He may or may not continue to be a part of this story. Yeah, no, but we saw the dead cell diagram. There was a a big faced white guy. Then there was a a female that I'm assuming is meant to be Fortune. There was Vamp. And there was Gorge Sears, who's the yes. president. And they said there's three members of Dead Cell, so I can't imagine that President Gorge Sears is going to show up. But we've seen, too, there's gonna only can be one member of Dead Cell. And uh, all kidding aside, yeah, we're clearly going to see those guys again. But Iroquois, I don't know. I was, I was digging the story at this point because I really had no idea where I was going, which is it's nice. Of course, I just noticed this. Yes. Um, and... Maybe they'll get back around to this, but our initial plan had been to walk around the uh, the struts, going in the like we were supposed we were supposed to be working our way around trying to find where the president was. I guess. I guess. Let's go to yeah. well, but like we we'd been continuing on like it's not a completely linear, but we were going on a path around the like we went right. From, you started A. Yeah. Uh, I had suggested we go to F. We ended up. Going not to B. You couldn't go any. You could go to F. You can't get from F to E. So F is the one kind of bonus quote area you could have gotten to, that th you will eventually get to anyway. Really? But no, we've gotten A because to at B this to C. Because at this point, uh, I think we're I don't see how we're getting any farther. Fortune just blew up the bridge. No, and this will be explained later. Um, oh, okay. So, but I was thinking this might be our perfect opportunity to backtrack because we'd be forced to. No. But, uh, uh, oh, I, I'll, get, I'll just explain. I think it gets explained again later. I'll explain it now. If you looked at the diagram of the big shell that they've shown, uh, the big shell is consists of two hexagons yes. that are adjacent to each other. But the actual, the main structure is in the center, and these struts are built around the outside. Uh, they're hexagon yeah. shaped around the central structure. The, there's it's a, a bridge. Honeycomb. Huh? Yeah, it's honeycomb. Honeycomb. Big. There's a bridge from A yeah, to B, yeah. B to C, C to D. Uh, but the bridge from B to C also contains a bridge to the central structure. And that is the bridge she blew up. The central structure connects to the B, C bridge and I think the E, F bridge. And she blew up the B, C bridge. So eventually so we're going to be going back around in an effortly direction. We're going to have to go all the way around to the other side of the big shell... Well, of, of this, uh, they'll they'll show maps. Yeah, we'll, we'll, make yeah. Sense we'll, we'll, we'll get it. But uh, we will. I think uh, the plot is going to make it. So eventually, by the time we even get to the second 
structure in the second half of the whole thing, the game will be mostly over. And there's struts on the second half without explaining why. We don't visit it. But, yeah, we visit the vast majority of A, B, C, D, E, F. Yeah, sure. And then we on the other side, stuff. you've got the whatever the next six letters they all put are. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get everywhere eventually. Don't no, you worry. I, I believe you. But, but I know you don't, gonna get to you that. don't have to go to F unless we, at this point, you would have to backtrack back to get to F if you wanted to, but you wouldn't have to. Right. But either way, folks, we'll, we'll get around to it. But uh, for right now, I'm Bobo the Vulture. I continue to be the mysterious GG. And together we are Mysterious Bobo. <laughs> together plays. we are Illicoy Pliskin. <laughs> Illicoy, yes. Because Illicoy. Yeah, I mean, you're just in that mode now. Mysterious yeah. Illicoys. Well, no, because when you when you change JG to Bobo, you have to add two more letters. Uh, so we, we took out the J and the G. We added two Bs, two Os, and I guess we had to take out an R to make things even out. <laughs> you know, but anyway. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll be back um, next time, and I'll try to be more lucid. <laughs> Bye now.